Hello, I am in Ivano Frankivsk, the center of Ivano Frankivsk Oblast. It's also called the Gateway to Carpathian Mountains, and I have just come from there. I can feel the difference in the air because here you can smell some gasoline in it. So it was much better actually in mountains, but you get used to it. So, some history of the city, actually town, with a population of 250,000 people, or quarter of a million. The town was founded in the middle of the 17th century by a Polish state. After that, it became under the rule of Austro-Hungarian Empire, after the fall of this empire in the First World War, it became part of Polish Republic and after Second World War it was included into the Soviet Union or like Soviet Ukraine. The name of the town comes from a poet, writer, politician, journalist and so on, like famous Ukrainian person Ivano Frankivsk. The city was renamed from a Polish name in 1962 by the Soviet authorities because this Ivano Frankivsk was also a Marxist. He died before the October Revolution. The October Revolution was in 1917 and he died in 1916 when he was 60 years old. So the town is actually not so much Soviet one. There is of course the architecture from that period, but it was nicely painted, at least most of the buildings from the Soviet period. And the city center is also quite old from the times of Polish Republic and Austro-Hungarian Empire. So it's not so much Soviet town, but it's, it looks more like, more like European or like Polish or Austrian. I will show you some pictures from the city center with the mixture of these architectures from different periods. A regional government building from a Soviet period. The main square with the city hall. Armenian church from the end of 18th century, later transformed into Ukrainian Catholic church. Boulevard of Independence, main pedestrian street in town. Soviet era and new apartment building. And the art museum. From pictures Ivano Frankivsk, I'm headed 80 kilometers to the north where a race masonry, a baroque palace from the end of 19th century, is stationed in a small village. I found a sign beside the road showing the way through the forest for the race Manson. And here we are already, as you can see. First, some history. The Manson was first constructed in second half of 19th century and then it was reconstructed by Stanislav Ray in 1882. Like around the castle there was a big garden with different vegetation from different parts of the world. Well, as you can see now, everything is abandoned. Long ago actually. 
the mansion has a look of a castle with four towers. There is one tower I want to show you. So where was I? Yeah. The mansion was owned by Rice family till the beginning of Second World War in 1939. After that, the German troops and the Soviet troops were stationed inside and that was time when the mansion was lotted. Most of the interior was lost. Whoa! Look, the door is open. That's quite nice because wherever I searched they were closed and it was said it's not possible to go inside. So let's go and take a look. These are the entrance doors. As you can see, pretty glamorous. Ah, and there is some decoration, at least on the floor. This was not lotted. Okay, let's go a bit around to see if we can find something interesting. But we have to watch not to fall down. Okay, maybe maybe the other side. Maybe there will be something more interesting. And then there are also stairs that we can go up. I have to watch that something doesn't fall on my head. There is nothing so much interesting here. Okay, let's go to the second floor to see what is there. Well, there is some decoration on the stairs, but I think it's more modern date. Okay, the stairs are wooden, but they are pretty solidly made. Okay, this is it. Second floor. Ah, look at this door to the second floor. We are also glamorous. So, what is on this side? Uh -huh. There is nothing. Nothing here. Let's try to go out here. Uh, there is a passage. Well, here I think I won't risk. You can fall down and something can fall on your head. Okay, we haven't been here yet. Uh, here the nature is taking its tour. The roof is obviously leaking. But you can see the rooms are quite big, so it wasn't so bad to live here, at least if you were a member of the race family. Oh, what is here? This could be interesting. Oh, no, better not to go there. There is another floor, I think that's from the tower. Anyhow, where did I finish with the history? Ah, yeah. So after the Second World War, there was a. It was used as a veterinary, veterinary college, agricultural object, as psychiatrical clinic, and then after after the independence of Ukraine, it was used by Ukrainian Church until 2005. After that. It was abandoned and that's the situation today. Okay, with this I will finish my trip in Western Ukraine. This is the last video. I might return soon, I don't know yet. But like, because it's the 
last day or the last video I bought some Ukrainian kvass to say cheers to you. Cheers and take care and see you soon.